Well, hello. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the Dark Essence Dark Naturals. If you are new here, this is a series talking about John Kitchener's essences with a focus on dark aesthetics. The reason why I love talking about the essences versus any other categorical system is that it's all about you and honoring your features first and foremost, and then the styles that you choose will come after that. I love it because it's all about your DNA. I also think that it honors your features a lot more. You can have up to three face essences, which very much align with the human complexities. You are not just one word. You are not just one feeling and vibe. You are a complex mixture, so many components that make you who you are. There are some essences that have a more obvious take on a dark aesthetic. For example, for the dramatics, we have very strong facial features and a lot of dark aesthetic silhouettes and motifs really align with the cinematic feel that most dramatics have. Same thing with romantic. My last essence video, romantics very much align with a vampiric type of aesthetic, bloody hearts, pulp art, Elvira type of vibe. The means and ingenues also are very prevalent in the dark aesthetic space. We see it in the Wednesday Adams tropes, spooky haunted dolls, crimson peak Victorian dresses. And then ethereal essence is also a bit more on the obvious end of it being a dark aesthetic, such as Susie Sue of Susie and the Banshees. A lot of traditional goth makeup tends to look is a bit of a mix of dramatic and ethereal. Also a lot of ethereal looks and aesthetics have this very outworldly celestial feel to it, which can easily translate in a dark aesthetic way. What about the naturals? Now, this is very personal to me because natural is actually one of my prominent essences. And it is out of all of the essences that I resonate with the most. It actually has been a challenge of how to translate my looks into a dark aesthetic way that still felt true to me. Now, what is natural? essence. It is soft angularity. In a traditional terminology standpoint, it is said to be casual yang, but I personally want to step away from the terminology of using yin and yang for these type of systems. David Kibbe used yin and yang in his Kibbe body type system and he got the terminology from Taoist beliefs and I don't think he fully grasped the true meaning of yin and yang so I kind of just don't want to include it in these style systems anymore just because I think it removes the true meaning of it. So for this natural essence we're gonna call it soft angularity because that's what it is. If you want to use myself as an example my face has a broadness to it. It is a bit on the wide side. And if you look at my jawline, my cheekbones, it is a bit angular, but there's also this softness to it. And you see that a lot in a lot of natural faces in general. In terms of a feeling, natural essence tends to feel very effortless and casual. There is the sense of width and broadness, like I mentioned in my facial features. There's also a sense of asymmetry, or they look more natural in asymmetrical elements versus a classic essence looks much more at home in pieces that are a lot more streamlined and symmetrical. Things that are not exactly perfect, things are a bit undone tend to look, I don't want to say better because better is a very subjective thing. It's just that they look their most at home in it or there's this sense of wow to it. And they are softly defined, which I think really goes hand in hand with this soft angularity that natural essences tend to have. Like I mentioned, essences are not just these strong verbal terminologies. It's about a feeling and a vibe you give off. So a great way to get an idea of what your essences are or how to truly grasp your own essence is knowing what it feels like. What natural essence feels like to me is this sense of warmth. There is this stereotype that a natural face tends to have this warm and welcoming feel to it, or that they're easygoing, kind of a down to earth type of feel. They look their best in almost undone messy hair where it's not 
severely defined. It's of the earth. Like they look really good in natural fibers. Have this feeling of a summer bonfire or very witchy rituals. This feeling of what a natural feels like is kind of like musky perfume. It's very earthy and natural. They have this warmth, like I mentioned, like fresh morning coffee, forest bathing, a bit soft and angular. It is a bit bitter sweet. Now when it comes to the fabrics and silhouettes of a natural essence, I think it's in the name itself. You're looking for natural fibers, whether it's 100% cotton, textured linens, like you see the nubs in the fabric. They are naturally dyed. It could also be 100% silk. Like it's this very non-plasticky polyester type of look. It's also crushed velvet. Crushed velvet has this beautiful, luxurious type of look and feel to it. And imperfect leather, layers, quilts, uh, things that you hand sewed. I think also subversive knitwear also fits into this. I have my new hobby or like my new obsession is knitting. I'm working on a wool scarf at the moment and I feel like this is very in line with my natural essence. I think there's something about things that are handmade, things that are made personally for you or by you that feel very of natural essence. I think vintage fur also goes hand in hand with this. Like again, it's very earthy. Of course, do vintage fur or faux fur, never new fur. Type silhouettes. So I think this is the most talked about type of silhouette when it comes to natural essence is it's very flowy, unconstricted. It has billowy sleeves, bishop sleeves. It's a little bit sheer, it's layered. It's very witchy. It's like the typical silhouettes that we would recommend for a cottage forest witch type of aesthetic effortless it's easy to throw on now the most talked about silhouettes and type of outfits we hear for naturals is again the flowy drapey type of look but i think also anything that just looks effortless so i think minimal dark looks still work with natural essence like it looks like they just threw it on like a jumpsuit or a very knitted tank top with some tailored trousers. I think also if you go for more tailored garments, it still has to be a little bit on the softer side, so nothing too stiff, because I think when it comes to a natural essence, there's something about these little imperfections that they glow in. It's a little undone and nothing that is too uptight. Now, when it comes to the hairstyles, of the natural essence. I think the key here is just embracing what feels and looks the most natural on you. You want a hairstyle that feels like you just woke up in it or you just threw your hair up, like whatever feels the most effortless. I feel like the natural essence just looks their most at home in hairstyles with that took less than 10 minutes to get it done. Whether their braids that they threw up into a bun, their natural curls are out. I think bangs still also work on natural essences. I know bangs and pixie cuts tend to be reserved for the much more sharper essences like dramatics and gamines, but I think bangs can still actually work on a natural essence. I'm trying not to be biased here, but I think why bangs can work is if they are not too perfect, like they're a bit undone, there is a bit pieciness to it. I think, and again, when it comes to short hairstyles, it's nothing that's too constricted, like it kind of looks a little bit tousled or softly waved. I think Billie Eilish has shown a good example of like a bob haircut with some shaggy bangs. The key here is effortless. About some natural essence muses. Keep in mind, whenever I show celebrities or any public figures in terms of muses for these videos, they are not meant to be a means of people that we obsess over. We are not worshipping these celebrities. These are just to show examples of what a natural essence can look like. Also keep in mind some of my examples. Natural is not their only essence. So for example, our first muse is Gabriette. A lot of people have mentioned that she is our modern day Angelina Jolie. She is not just of a natural essence, I believe she also has a bit of romantic in her and maybe an undercurrent of dramatic. She's definitely a good demonstration of someone who has soft angular features. Now when it comes to her makeup choice, it really highlights the natural features. They're gray toned so it has that dark aesthetic, it's a bit minimal. I feel like works for Gabriette and could work for many naturals, taking that undone 
done in perfect look into your makeup. I kind of like how she has these gray lips, smudgy eyes, and pretty much does like nothing to her eyebrows, or it's like a super thin line. It's very minimal, but it looks a little incomplete, but in a good way, and it's kind of a statement. Like it's very, I don't care. Also her clothing is very simple silhouettes. I feel like she does take a lot of note from the 90s minimalism. If you look at 90s runway, a lot of the 90s cuts and silhouettes were very slip dresses, minimal textures, very dark grayish or brown tones. When it comes to Gabrielle, a lot of people in my comments whenever I have mentioned her in the past say that Oh, she's unoriginal. She is just a copy of Angelina Jolie. I feel like, yes, she is very similar to Angelina Jolie, but I actually think there's something about Gabrielle that I still appreciate that she is in our time frame because yes, we had Angelina Jolie of the 90s and early 2000s, but it's kind of nice that we have a style inspiration such as Gabrielle just because we still don't see a lot like her. Speaking of Angelina Jolie, we cannot forget her as a natural muse. A lot of people do argue that dramatic may be her more prominent essence, but I actually think she is a great inspiration in terms of natural features. Like Gabrielle, she has that soft angular jaw and she has a she has this width and broadness in her face that's very prominent in a lot of natural essences. Some of the movies that I would recommend is like Girl Interrupted, Gia, Hackers, Tomb Raider. All of the outfits that she wore in these movies are very easy throw on type of ensembles. Her hair is either tousled, it's very I don't care type of energy. The makeup is thin brows, brown tones, it's very effortless. And also something about Angelina Jolie in terms of lifestyle that actually is in tuned with her natural essence is her being an advocate for mending clothes and really upholding like what you already have in your closet, which is one of the main statements that she has for her upcoming clothing lines. I think she's going to be selling her own design, but one of the things she wants to highlight is that she wants to hire tailors that will be in the store so that if you have jeans or tops that need mending, they will be there. Taking care of what you already have and not really shopping always new all the time. There's something about that that really aligns with this whole natural vibe. And I was talking about the dark naturals in my other video. I didn't mention Stevie Nicks and so many people in the comments were like, well, where's Stevie Nicks? She is the poster child for natural essence. Let's talk about her today. When it comes to Stevie Nicks, I don't think natural is her prominent essence, but the naturalness is in her aura, vibe, and lifestyle. I think she's a bit of an ingenue natural. She does definitely exude that natural warmth that is prominent in a natural's features. Also the clothing and the style that a lot of people know her for is actually very in line with what's recommended for naturals, which is these flowy fabrics, the witchy occult motifs, whether it's in her music lyrics or even the way she stages her album covers. It's also in her accessories and the layers that she chooses to wear. And also in many interviews she mentions She's not a fan of perfume. She likes more natural scents. So she probably smells like essential oils and maybe incense. And there's something about that that really is in line also with the whole natural vibe. When it comes to the makeup, like I mentioned for Gabrielle's section, it's a bit undefined and kind of minimal and can be seen as incomplete but in a statement editorial kind of way. The way we see it on Gabrielle is that she chooses not to do a super defined filled in brow and more so focuses on her eyes and has a pretty muted almost gray toned lip. You can do this in almost any way. The way I recommend it is pick your favorite feature, pick your favorite thing that you want to highlight whether it is just doing an eyeliner and doing everything else bare. Or one of my favorite ways is picking a super dark lipstick and doing nothing else. For example, like right now, the only thing I have on is some BB cream, lipstick, and eyebrows. And everything else is kind of bare. I have gotten compliments whenever I go out saying, wow, your lipstick really stands out. It's actually one of the pros of taking this makeup approach is that it does make a statement because when you do your makeup, and don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of dramatic makeup looks or doing a full on ensemble, but there's something about picking one thing and just going all out with it and leaving everything else bare that makes kind of a statement 
and in a way really works if you have natural essence. I think something that also works with natural essence is just having products that just work for an all-in-one thing. Whether it's having a black lip gloss that you can also put as a glossy eyeshadow or a super dark red lipstick that you can also use for your eyes and cheeks. There's also people who wear like a black shadow for their eyebrows and then use it for their liner as well. It's this, it almost works in line with this whole natural lifestyle and vibe that I mentioned with Angelina Jolie's, what she advocates for, but also Stevie Nicks's lifestyle and choices in terms of this very easygoing, down-to-earth type of feel, if that makes any sense. When it comes to accessories and jewelry, I feel like if you have a natural essence, there is something about this that you should really take advantage of finding pieces that feel organic or very of the earth. The brand Thorn & Claw, who is a lovely mutual of mine, has a collection of jewelry that really feel very occult-like and very witchy and again of the earth. They have pieces that are very moon-based, uh, ritual-based, things that look like they were of the claws of ravens. And I'll be linking them down below if you want to check them out. In addition to that, again, looking for organic shapes that feel like they were like molten lava or collecting charms. I'm a huge advocate for collecting pieces and jewelry that have a lot of sentimental value. There is this uh, photo I have on here where I thought it was really cool that they included buttons and pearls and little trinkets that they included on their charm necklace. And I feel like there's something even more to it if there's a sentimental value. This look of a layering and a lot of charms, there's also something about it that feels very magical and again, in line with natural essence. Now, motifs, patterns, and colors. When it comes to the color palette, you can, of course, always go for black in terms of a dark aesthetic, but there are other colors and hues that you can go for, and you can find a lot of these colors in nature. And there's a lot of dark natural dyes, such as deep plums, even red onions create a beautiful hue, burgundies, forest greens. The way the forest looks on a foggy day is also one of my favorite inspirations. Sepias, sepias, however it's pronounced, and rich browns that are, again, of the earth. Looking at butterflies and moths, the beautiful hues that they have. A lot of old gothic or classical paintings of still lives of fruits, like the burnt oranges or the bloody pomegranate colors are also great inspirations of where you can draw these colors from. Motifs are things that, again, are of nature. Dried florals, foggy forests, leaves, mushrooms, spider webs, insects, animals. And on that note, also cryptid creatures. I think taking inspiration from the Loch Ness Monster, Bigfoot, Mothman, and what that could mean to you, I feel like that could add a whole layer of complexity to your style. Let's say you're starting from complete scratch and you're thinking, what can I have that will kickstart my natural essence wardrobe? I think one of the main things you should have is knitwear. Knitwear is one of the easiest things that you can layer and one of the most obvious textures that really highlight a natural essence's features. On my Pinterest, I actually recently, because of my recent obsession with knitting and trying to learn how to knit and make my own clothes, I started a board called Dark Knitwear. But I think having some kind of super loud textured, maybe a chunky cardigan or a very holy kind of sweater can be a great basic to have in your natural wardrobe. Long layers. I love this image from Sabrina that features Tati Gabrielle and her two sisters in the show. But the idea here is layering sheer layers, laces. Also look for different patterns as well. Patterns and plaids that normally wouldn't go well together, but try it out because if you have a natural essence who glows in asymmetry, that can also work with these unconventional patterns and colors that aren't normally recommended. I think jewelry is going to be a big thing here, especially if you want your natural wardrobe to be a bit on the more minimal side. You can have a mix of statement pieces, you can have layered pieces stacking up on your charms. And I think a sheer robe can go far. I think I truly believe in sheer layers. Adding this on top of a simple tank top already has that natural feel to it. And also keep in mind, if natural is not your only essence, 
How can you incorporate other elements of your essence with your natural essence? If you watch this whole video, thank you so much. And also I wanted to give a special thanks to my Patreon members. If you are a dollar, $5 and $20 tier, all of the mood imagery I'm going to be compiling into a PDF so that you can download and kind of essentially have as your seminar notes. Sometimes I feel like I'm giving a class lecture and this is the notes that I'm giving you for the class of the day. I also want to thank everyone who has bought a style guide recently. I am working on your style guides. I also sent an email out to everybody giving you an idea of an estimated date that I will be working on your style guide and you should be receiving it around day or two after. I really enjoyed this one, especially as someone who really resonates with a natural essence. Let me know what your essence is down below. Until next time, I hope you have a lovely week. Bye.